Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato, and I'm going to be here for a quick tips episode uh, in my deep dive series on the mod Dooglamu cities for Minecraft. And you will occasionally run into this problem where your ranch gets a bit out of control. Like I've got tons of rabbits, I've got really too many pigs and cows, too many chickens... It'll just happen. It's usually when you're out of the chunk for a while, it seems, or where there's a big abundance of food. I'm not sure the exact conditions, but it seems to get out of control when there's a whole bunch of babies and then there's adults. So the way to handle that, guys, is to keep a distributor that's dedicated to your food supply. Now, this one just happens to be over here so that I can hit the uh, bakery over here as well. Just kind of keep it in the same chunk. Helps me to organize it. You, know, you could do it how you want. It could be closer to the farm or whatever. Makes sense for you. Closer to the ranch. But I this is a central choke point for the food. Okay, so potatoes and carrots. Uh, potatoes don't really need to be in here, although they're fed to the bakery. But the carrots and the wheat and then seeds um, is another thing. I'm actually just setting this up right now. Uh, the seeds is another thing. So anything that gets fed to the animals, you really need to choke off into a certain point. Uh, and then that way you can't control the food supply that's going into your uh, farm there or into the ranch. Otherwise, it can get out of control. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut off this distributor, which will take it offline, take it out of the system. All right, the bakery is going to complain uh, and then the ranch will start to complain here, but it'll also do a, a, a kill off, which is really what we want. So I'm going to set the tick rate up high. And we'll let it all process. Let's see, there was a rabbit kill off already. Okay, I saw a feeding. It's taken a while. They're growing up. All right, I'm getting a feeding. All right, so let, let's figure out how they're getting fed. They can't pull directly from the farm, so a distributor has some items. The warehouse must be doing or providing. Yeah, so that's what's going on. The warehouse is actually providing. In this case, they're asking for it. Yeah, so we have to take that offline, too. Um, that's just a thing. You could see that it may be easier in some cases to just go ahead and manually handle it. Because again, you do end up changing quite a bit. But, you know, you're just going to have to do it. I saw there's a, a rabbit culling, I guess is the right phrase. Um, looks like, yeah, the ranch is now complaining. Okay, so you can see now how the... the the warehouse did a fallback, so these guys can ask from the warehouse. That's an important thing to realize, uh, is yes, these can request directly from a warehouse without an intervening configured distributor. That distributor's offline. Okay, so our rabbits are under control now. Let's just wait for the, the culling of the cows and the pigs. The warehouse itself, the warehouse block should work with a lever as well to where you could have just toggled it offline rather than remove the items. Uh, but I just wanted to be sure that that's what was happening, that, that I could pull them out. Okay, there we go. So there's the pigs. Yeah, chickens. Okay, so, or there was the cows, I mean. So we're waiting on the pigs now just to be handled. And there's just too many of them. And it happens 
under certain conditions. You'll see it, and uh, something like that can slow down your world with too many entities uh, and, and just the sheer noise level and all that. So the ranch is complaining, starting to a lot now, because it's it's funny that's asking for wheat, but it doesn't actually have any cows that it can breed. They're all babies. Um, but I guess it just requires it. Come on, piggies. Got to get this done. You're making my video longer than I want it to be. Yeah, so there we go. Okay, so that'll probably put us in pretty good shape. Uh, we could let this next set grow up. That's kind of what we're waiting on is the babies to grow up. And you could see that, as we predicted, the bakery is complaining and the uh, ranch is complaining because they're the ones that require the food that we took offline. Okay, so... Let's head another group on the rabbits. Um, it's kind of fun to watch at this fast speed. Uh, once again, guys, I'm just trying to, to demonstrate the point. Um, I got it pretty much as fast as we can get it right now. And it will happen. So just a lot of pigs, man. We just really got overrun with pigs. Chickens and rabbits are all okay now. We're just right waiting for these guys to grow up. We'll do the finished thing, and then we can put everything back online and, uh, you know, back to life. I think we're getting better. I think one more after they grow up, and we should be in good shape. Let's just let them grow up. It shouldn't take long. It's funny to watch them how they'll follow that one adult, all of the... Babies are programmed to follow an adult. So that's why you see them going around in this big group because they're just all following mama around. Okay, so mama just got taken out. So we're just waiting for that. I, I think that's enough right now. I'd, I'd really rather have less pigs. But for the sake of the video, the length of the video, you can see that we substantially improved it. Now we're still... Now, we still got too many chickens, so I would I would go ahead and leave my stuff offline for a little bit longer. But the principle is there for the sake of the video that you could keep everything here consolidated for the food source. I could turn off the bakery at the time being so it would not bother me. Uh, you do want to leave the ranch on because you need that ranch to... Uh, oh, here's our problem here, guys. Uh, we're we're filled up, so it's not going to do any more processing. Uh, that that's our problem, right there. Should have looked into that. Yes. Yeah, so you do have to be aware that now that you've taken the distributors offline, you're not pulling items from the ranch anymore. So it's not going to um, perform its functions that you want. So you do need to be aware of what your uh, your current inventory is within the ranch. Uh, now let's go ahead and let it clean up. Now, now it should clean up much faster. Okay, yeah, they grew up. And then our chickens, see if we can get them under control. Uh, I think the carpenter, I have to look at that. Is, all right, there we go. Now let's see if we get the chickens cleaned out. Most of them are still babies. There's a, just a lot of chickens too. There we go. There's one. So we're just basically waiting for the little guys to grow up. And then we'll clean that out. So it can do it automatically. It can clean for you. You just have to... Uh, you know, allow for the, the, the technique that we have here. So I'm just kind of waiting on that because I would like to get everything back online. And, uh, you know, we might as well do it in the video. Come on, guys. Grow up. 
They were being fed. I just saw them being fed. Um, yeah, you got to watch your choke points. Let's see. So chickens, what's, what's feeding them? Uh, see, there's a seed in the distributor right there. So that's the thing, guys. You got to watch and clean out. Got to be thorough. Because it'll keep feeding them. And, of course, the more adults that you have... Okay, now it's telling us all of them. But, and the more adults that you have, the more they'll get bred. And, see, a lot of them can be babies. That seems to be what the issue is. Is that you'll have a whole lot that's babies that won't get fed. It'll only see a few adults. And it'll just keep breeding them. So... We're not getting a good, accurate count of babies. Now, there may be a way to automate this. Not sure. Um, there's definitely ways to automate it in conjunction with other uh, tools like those from uh, Mine Factory Reloaded or Industrial Foregoing or whatever that, that can do it. But we may be able to start to use integrated dynamics. Oh, shoot. Okay. No, let's see. Well, I don't, I don't really see the fire. Yeah, it must have went out quickly. Yeah, when you run at these high tick rates like this, you're going to get several disasters that come your way. All right, there we go. So I think one more group of that, and we should be good. Yep, one more group of that, and we should be good. Now, do notice that my chat thing is, is in great shape. Before, my chat would have just been completely overrun. But with this clear spam plug-in, yeah. Dooglamoo, if you're watching, man, implement something like that. It's really nice to be able to see it. should not be hard to do. Um, that clear spam could be open source. Not sure. Pigs and cows are definitely under control. Chickens still got a little issues. But it's more just a, a growing up thing. There was just way, way, way too many of these guys. Yeah, severe drought. You see what I mean? That the more that you... Uh, AFK, the more problems that you're going to have. Let me just get a bucket of water. Uh, this video is really long. But I've got to deal with this. So, this is how you deal with the drought, obviously. Just go in and fill, the, fill up the water. Knowing that there's four per chunk. You've got four water sources per chunk. Um, where's my other one? Here. And then the two down here. So not not a big deal. But and then the, the fire I guess never got anywhere. And I you know I got these tall trees that can bleed over into an area that you gotta get rid of. They're out of the range of what can be um, harvested. So that's part of the maintenance that you'll have to do. But okay, let's see if our chickens yet are under control. Not entirely. Uh, this is just kind of a video of... <laughs> it's almost a social video at this point, guys. I've, I've made my point. Could have quit watching a long, long time ago. There we go. All right, I'm happy with that. And so now we just basically put this guy back online. Uh, I'm going to leave it offline for a little bit. I got to give the carpenter some string. He's wanting string badly. Um, yeah, he's got wood. Need to clear out the wood. So some more maintenance stuff, and then we'll do our next videos. Anyway, guys...
Let me go ahead and get down on the ground. I meant to, for, for this to be just a quick tips video. It's what I said in the beginning. Didn't turn out quite to be that way. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. This is Scott Omato, guys. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>